Minnesota Vikings running back Adrian Peterson was thrown for a big loss today. The NFL suspended him without pay for the rest of this season and possibly longer after Peterson pleaded no contest to physically abusing his four-year-old son. NFL Today host James Brown, a special correspondent for CBS News, is following this. Commissioner Roger Goodell sent a letter to Adrian Peterson laying out his case for suspending him until next April. Part of the letter was quoted in a press release. It said, the injury was inflicted on a child who was only four years old, that the repetitive use of a switch in this instance is equivalent of a weapon, and that Peterson had shown no meaningful remorse for your conduct. After the Ray Rice assault case, Goodell changed league policy to a six-game suspension for anyone convicted of domestic violence. In September, Goodell spoke about further reforms he pledged to make by the end of this season. We will implement new conduct policies. They will have a set of clear and transparent rules for league and club personnel, owners and players. The Players Union vowed to appeal on Peterson's behalf. NFLPA Executive Director DeMora Smith says he is most concerned about the process of the NFL's decision. When it chooses to implement or impose arbitrary um, standards. We are not going to allow the NFL to hide behind their own misconduct. Troy Vincent is the league's executive vice president of football operations. He says the NFL sought advice from child abuse experts. We have to ensure the safety of the four-year-old child and Adrian's other children. He has not met with our experts. That's why we went in the direction of the remainder of the season. The league did ask Peterson to meet before the suspension was handed down, but the meeting never took place. The player chose not to be a part of a sham hearing that the league wanted to concoct outside the parameters of the collective bargaining process. Scott, Adrian Peterson has been under suspension for the last nine games with pay. He stands to lose over $5 million for the remaining six games if he loses his appeal. James Brown in our Washington newsroom. See you Sunday, J.B.